Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I have a very short and simple tutorial today in ballpoint pen, of all things, and I'll be journaling in Psalm 94, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. And I have been reminded of this verse because of a phrase that I heard in a song. It's not a new song or anything, and it's from pop culture as opposed to a Christian worship song, but God can speak through anything as you may know. And the phrase is, every day above ground is a good day. And I have been caught short by that recently, in this past week especially, because where I live, the temperature has been soaring. We have had much, much, much heat. And I have zero air conditioning. So I go to the movies or the grocery store to try to cool off a little bit. I do have lots of things that I do to stay cool. So don't worry about me. We're going to be fine here, but it's just a season to get through. We have several days in a row of temperatures above hundred degrees. So one of the reasons this video is short is because I don't want to stay in the studio any longer than I have to when it's this hot. However, got my video done for you today using a ballpoint pen. Yes, a very simple ballpoint pen, nothing special about it, nothing fancy. Use any color that you want to draw in your Bible, just like you, you can use a color to write with. It's going to work the same way, and as long as you let it dry, it's not going to smudge. But as you know, anything can smudge when you start smushing around with it when it's not yet dried. But it can also, surprisingly, I've learned this recently, a ballpoint pen can make different widths of lines by varying the pressure. I'm used to just using a ballpoint pen to sign a check with. And in this particular case, I have found that you can just use a very light touch and get a light coverage of ballpoint pen as well. So that's what I decided to do on this one, drawing a thermometer behind my little words that I've put on here every day above ground is a good day to remind myself that even the thermometer can be taken over by the Lord having given us another day. Another day to be alive is a good thing and that is awesome. And I need to not say the whole day is terrible just because I happen to have temperatures that are higher than I want them to be. Uh, you're watching me right now struggle through the math of trying to figure out where to put the numbers. And it occurred to me after I was done throwing the numbers in there that the Celsius numbers should have been in Celsius. And I was trying to make them opposite the Fahrenheit numbers. <laughs> yes, my brain is melting down. But, you know, it's mostly covered up and it's the idea that matters. I did put a cross in the screw at the top. It was supposed to be a hole. I looked up what a thermometer looks like on... Google and I found one that looked this shape and I thought it would fit in my Bible and I decided to make a screw out of it so I could put the cross at the top. Once I got the basic drawing done, I decided I wanted the words to stand out more so I began by putting a shadow underneath of them so that they would just be a little bit stronger in color and then realized I could use this pen to do a really light coverage on the thermometer itself. So I'm just going over it really, really light. That's all. I did not have any idea until recently that ballpoint pens had the ability to do this. I probably doodled when I was a kid with ballpoint pen, but usually with pencil. I had never just really thought of it as an art tool. So you have one in your house. You don't have to go buy anything special and you can do all kinds of drawing with it in your Bible and to do your Bible journaling. So this is the finished piece, really simple here in my Bible, but I did add some journaling to the bottom of it. I do try to do that, even though I don't always include that here in my videos. Even when the forecast says 110 degrees is in my future, that does not dictate that it'll be a bad day. Yes, it'll be hot. Yes, it'll be ick, but it doesn't control the day God does. So I know that I can have a good day even when the temperature is crazy. And that is a good reminder. I will see you all again next week. Have a wonderful week ahead and stay cool. I'll see you later.